Ooh, the Hawk has arrived and I've gone on a short test drive. Uh, sorry, I'm out of breath. I have been working for the past two hours to get this thing in here. So this is definitely not gonna work. Like she's in here for now, but if I actually wanna ride her every day, it's not gonna happen. Like show you my redneck white trash crap I had to do. Obviously, I tried to do that with just the supports in the door the first time, but the door kept sliding out from under me. So I had to screw her down to my stairs. So that definitely cannot stay like that. That's just the ugliest thing on the planet. What I want to do oh, is either get a shed built out back or double doors here and a ramp. Either way, I'd be happy with because she fits nice. I, is she fit over there? But I end up having to move the bikes over there just because bring her in front ways and you can back her up right in there it makes it a lot easier to get out the door so i don't plan on doing too many times i definitely gotta get a shed she cannot stay in here with that little single door <laughs> and the fact that i just bolted a door down to my stairs and called it a ramp but hey whatever works for the time being i guess um everybody's right the carb definitely needs a bigger jet um and I'm going to be changing the sprockets. I haven't gone too crazy on her, but I'm going to be changing the sprockets. But other than that, I actually really like it so far. Um, I only drove it for about an hour, so I can't get too crazy. But um, I, I like it. I'm, I'm happy so far. Uh, the only thing, everybody always has something damaged with shipping. Um, mine was a battery. The battery actually was punctured and exploded. And um, the battery acid actually started eating some bolts, but I got to them in time before they were too heavily damaged. Um, luckily I had, I always keep a few batteries around the house, luckily I had one that would fit her. Um, other than that, she actually doesn't really have any marks on her. Um, the rear sprocket is loose, like everybody says, so I definitely won't be riding it too much like that until I get that fixed. Um, they come like that stock out of the factory and some guys ride them like that for a thousand miles with some with no problems and some guys will go 10 miles and the rear wheel lock up on them and i don't want to be the 10 mile guy so i definitely got to get that fixed um other than those few things so far anyway <laughs> um i really like her um see where we go from here i'm not going to start her up just because being as this is an actual motorcycle i'd suffocate this room really quick but I do plan on getting a video up on the Hawk eventually. Um, I'm not going to do a video of me teaming the carb or nothing. If you guys want to see a video of that, there's tons of them. There's a bunch of random people that I don't know the names of that did a really good job. Um, there's also Moto Cheese. He does a pretty good job of explaining it to you. So just look up Mo Moto Cheese Hawk 250 carb tuning. And it should be the first thing that pops up. But if you don't want to watch him, there's tons of other videos. Um, that's really the only thing I think if you buy one of these bikes the only thing you definitely need to do is put a bigger be better blah, 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 Sorry bigger jet in that carb and tune it up a little bit those sprockets are um, kind of up to you Other than the sprocket being loose back there, but I bought a Honda stock Honda bolts that'll fit there that'll tighten that up a little bit. They're not as loose in there and then I got some uh, wave washers that I'm gonna put in between and a, a dude on a uh, China Riders, I think that's what it's called, the site for all these China bikes. One of those forums, what he told me to do and showed me a video of his and it tightened up really good. So I'm going to be doing that. I got it all coming in the mail and I'm just not sure when it's going to get here. So I just want to give you guys an update on that. She is finally here. I rode her. I'm already in love, even with the t freaking shit-ass carb. And, uh, yeah, you guys are kind of outdated now, huh? No, I I'm definitely still going to be giving the bikes some love. They're... They're fun as hell, and they're like freaking, they're like riding a feather, like it's just a weird feeling, and I can't really beat that, but I'm definitely excited to have a dual sport. Um, the only thing I got left to do, it does come with mirrors, yes, they are in this little baggie somewhere. Um, that's the only thing I didn't do yet, because I was not sure how far they were going to come out, so I just decided not to put them on until I got them in the, uh, the door. But uh, I'm probably going to put them on and see what they look like. 
So it does come with everything, nothing was missing. Like I said, the only thing that was for me was the battery. Everybody seems to have some sort of trouble. Um, so just be prepared if you get one of these. Something's probably gonna be broken. Luckily for me, it was a battery that I could replace within 10 minutes. Uh, most people probably don't have a spare battery, so that probably really pissed them off. So just make sure you look over the bike real good. I still need to do that. Um, I have not looked over her real good yet because, I, like I said, I just did a short little ride. I said an hour, but that one full of crap. I wasn't even an hour. Probably 20 minutes. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I promise to get some videos up here shortly.